Well, folks, so looks like we've got yet another motherboard manufacturer that's making big waves in the tech industry. However, it's a positive spin this time around. Let's get into this. Hi, everyone's boy Locked Up Banging on some more tech news. Hope you're having a great day. Came across a really cool article recently that I had to show you guys because it's pretty sweet why it is included. And the article is coming from videocars.net about a motherboard manufacturer brand never heard in my life called AOSTAR. It's A-O-O-S-T-A-R. And they're releasing, really they're taking like the uh, integrated combination approach of how Minis Forum, if you know Minis Forum, they're popular for making mini PCs and also combining or integrating a CPU on the motherboard combo as a, as an AI PC combo. So now AOSTAR, this manufacturer, is taking the same approach. And we all know the 950X and 950X 3D are the Zen 5 um, 16 core monsters that are on the current M5 platform. That AMD released. Now they're taking the same platform and same is the same Zen 5, but slightly the CPUs are slightly shaved down. But they're making two variants, two 16 core variants, one for X3D, just like how the desktop variant has X3D version, and one has a non-X3D, just like the desktop versions of them. So they're calling the 99, the non-X3D, they're calling it 9955HX, and the X3D variant they're calling a 9955X3D. Makes sense just have X3D, but the, the, the they didn't want to use the same 950 verbiage, so they use 55. But their new format is, even though it's based from the ground up on micro ATX form factor for motherboards, for both, both the varieties, they're, com they're pretty much calling it MODT, or what they call mobile on desktop. And the only caveat outside of the frequency being 2 to 300 megahertz lower than the desktop counterparts, you cannot change the CPU if you decide to downgrade or whatever. You can only expand the storage, which is two Gen 5 NVMEs times four, and you can change the RAM, which could go up to the usual what motherboards do, which is like 192 or 256 gigs max on the Empire platform, I believe. And in addition to that, um, besides those two caveats, the, I have a, a lot of these, these Chinese manufacturers tend to only distribute for the most part, on in the Chinese market, and if you're lucky, if we're lucky, we get them in the US market. But something tells you they don't go into an article, but someone tells you they don't want to have this like on AliExpress or something. But they didn't go into detail where they're gonna sell them or when they can release them or if they even release yet. But I just thought I should put a disclaimer out there. Um, this is all confirmed. Um, it's kind of not really a rumor anymore. It was buzzing around for the last couple of months, but it's not really a rumor anymore. It's actually confirmed by AOSTAR but they didn't, they didn't share which markets coming to. And in addition to this, that them being slightly cut down 16 cores, you still get the full 32 threads and you still get the same performance that you get with a regular individual discrete like system if you buy the parts separately. But you save a lot of money going this route. Um, I know if I was looking for a new PC, I'll probably go this route because you get, instead of paying a thousand dollars for a one motherboard and the desktop version of the 16 core X3D version, which is seven hundred plus three hundred dollar motherboard for X eight seven X eight seventy E, and for the non X three D, you're looking at eight hundred to nine hundred dollars for the for the MSRP nine fifty X, and let's do a two eight two hundred eighty nine dollar motherboard. So still roughly eight to nine hundred dollars. So for this this situation, they're only charging six hundred twenty two USD for the X three D combination, the integrated X three D one, and only five hundred twenty two dollars for the non X three D version. So you save a, you see the hundred of dollars saved there from both both variations. So y'all let me know if y'all like the whole upswing on in recent times about integrated CPU motherboards getting released by all these different manufacturers. Do you think it's a good way to save money versus buying each part individually? I I for sure think it does. But if you want a more details of the article, I'll leave it down below. But I think it's a really cool approach for people that are budget conscious that wants buying for your buck. I want like a, a CPU monster, but a, a quality motherboard to come with it for a reasonable price. So I I can see the the, the appeal for this these two variations. I really hope it does come to the US market because it has a lot of good specs, minus the caveats I mentioned, but the, the frequency and the expandability. It's really cool that it's this this much of a good deal. And all you really have to worry about is the other regular parts and the case, and then you're you're set for a new a new gaming rig. So it's pretty dope, that I, in my opinion. Um, but let's see how it plays out. If you get more information going forward in the coming months or weeks. 
um, perhaps a release date. They didn't say in the article. But I think it's pretty dope, especially being that it has a regular USB and it has 5 gig LAN and all the other good stuff. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And do you have you heard about AOSTAR before? If you have, are they do they make good quality products? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, this is by Loctech signing out.